Jo Leute, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Fire Emblem Three House. Wir spielen die Dimitri Route und haben im letzten Part Garing Mach verteidigt und gehen jetzt ins äh, Tal der Schmerzen. Da werden wir gefragt, wie hart wir sind. Mohahaha, wer Spongebob-Andeutung kennt, weiß Bescheid. Nein, auf jeden Fall kriegen wir da von äh, Felix Vater höchstwahrscheinlich Verstärkung, wenn alles klappt. Ach, oh, schade, dass Dimitri keinen Bock hat. Äh, fangen wir mal, versuchen wir mal mit Sylvain. Ob Sylvain was reißt. Sieht schon mal ja nicht schlecht aus. Schön. Sylvain hat gewonnen. Kriegen wir nur Silberlanze plus. Na ja gut, und unser Dozentenrang steigt. Das ist eigentlich so der Hauptpoint, warum ich das mache. So, warte mal. Okay, das war hier vorne dann. Gut. Anna, mal wieder. Nach Gewächshaus müssen wir natürlich auch. Ach, warte mal, da oben müssen wir auch hin. So, auf jeden Fall, es gibt echt eine Menge Spiele, die ich noch unbedingt spielen möchte. Momentan echt sehr, sehr viel. Also ich wünsche mich so ein bisschen wieder in die, äh, ja, in die Zeit, wo ich, äh, in der Schule war. Weil da hast du tatsächlich so ein kleines bisschen mehr Zeit. Als wenn man arbeiten muss, muss man einfach sagen. Das ist natürlich schön, dass ich äh, Kohle verdiene und mir dadurch schöne Sachen kaufen kann. Na, zum Beispiel neue Spiele, neue Mangas, etc. Aber die Zeit da nicht dafür zu haben, ist echt doof. Und es ist halt scheiße, weil man einfach wirklich nur, äh... Ja, wenn man wirklich nur hier... ...den Samstag dafür Zeit hat. Ich meine, ich bin froh, dass ich überhaupt einen Samstag habe. Naja, aber trotzdem. Man möchte immer mehr haben. Also ich möchte immer, äh, möchte immer gern mehr haben. Weil ich sehe einfach, äh, ja, es läuft halt bei anderen halt super und das hätte ich auch gerne. Ne, was ja auch eigentlich, äh, nicht schlecht ist, ist. Warum habe ich eigentlich keine Gruppenaufgaben? Wirklich nicht. Äh, Ingrid und, ja, komm. Ne, warte mal, was Sylvain. So, Individualtraining... Dann haben wir Ingrid, dann machen wir Axt. Wobei es eigentlich scheißegal ist, weil wir sie nicht zu einer Weifenritterin machen. Äh, 
Er war einfach so aus äh, Jolo-Prinzip. So, mehr habe hab ich glaube ich gar nicht. Den Dom in diesem Zustand zu sehen, kann der Göttin nicht gefallen. Wenn dieser Kämpfer war, möchte ich diesen auch noch schön und lange haben. Oh. Äh, Blumen sind schön, würde passen. Das wäre jetzt aber nur meine äh, bescheidene Meinung. Hey Ingrid, I can't... Yes. Of course. There is all. So, haben wir irgendwelche Nebenaufträge bekommen? Nö. Dann Seminar. Keine Ahnung. Machen wir das. This experience. I'm starting to get well worth. Weiß nicht, kann vielleicht helfen. Äh, ja. Er hat einen Geburtstag. Oh, Felix hat Geburtstag. Das freut mich. Seminar. All that work was work. Hopefully this. Gut. Wie sieht es eigentlich mit Examen aus? Haben die Leute endlich mal gelernt? Ah, warte mal. Grimori. Aha. Ist auch nicht schlecht so, ne? Könnte man sie jetzt so eine Ritterin machen? Na ja, gut, Weifenlord ist halt 30 so, ne? 30%. Egal. Ab zur Mission. Hinterhalt in Eil. Ach, keine Ahnung. Ich kann es nicht aussprechen. Ist egal. Auf jeden Fall kämpfen. Oh, fuck. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for LL, the Valley. Sorry. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Leute, durch mein Rausziehen von dem Ding hat sich meine Elgato entschieden, mit Verzögerung zu arbeiten, da habe ich keinen Bock drauf, deswegen kurzer Cut. So, da sind wir wieder. Ich hoffe, jetzt funktioniert das. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up?
Monks once used this area as an aesthetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed, and there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No, but their banner is that of... <gasps> no! It can't be. That is House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Vargas. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle? Or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone, prepare for the attack! Na denn, freuen wir uns drauf. So, ich glaube, inventarmäßig sieht alles noch gut aus. Alles klar, let's go. Der gegnerische Commander wird besiegt, all deine Einheiten werden besiegt. Oh, wir sind diesmal hier unten. Oh, Grendel. Grendel there is no chance of negotiating with him. Alel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Same. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. Ready when you are. Ah, oh, ich habe gar keine Truhen, Scheiße. Na denn. My orders. What's the plan? I'll comply. At your service. I'm your girl. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. What's my strategy? Guide me well. Hmm. Okay. 
Annette übernimmt den Ritter. Dann übernimmt er den Ritter. Hätte ja auch klappen, hätte ja klappen können. Ah, und Rundschlüssel. Das ist doch schon mal gut. Ne, macht zu wenig Damage. Oha, ein Meisterbogen hat er einfach. Tja, dann würde ich sagen, warten wir einfach mal, ne? Wobei er hat mir einfach zu, äh, hat einfach zu viele. Einer, das gefällt mir einfach nicht. Ach. So, Flame bekommt ein bisschen Level. Das ist doch schon mal super. Naja, die hätten von mir auf jeden Fall einen Rage bekommen. Ich heile ich einmal. Du hältst den. Ah, oh, cool, eine Donnerachst. Kann man bestimmt gut gebrauchen. So, dann haben wir noch da hoch. So, noch da hoch. Und noch da. Und erstmal warten. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mark. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. 
Okay. Da ist ja die große Frage, was macht er? like this. No, that won't do. I'll leave the talking until after the battle. Here's a small souvenir for you. Put it to good use. Moralta Schwert. Aha, cool. Danke schön. Guide me well. Vollidiot. The man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting your highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly. But this beast is devoted to his master. <laughs> Then I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. <sighs> so it is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. <lacht> Dimitri killt den einfach so. <lacht> Junge, Dimitri ist einfach Gott. Muss man einfach sagen, Alter, der ist einfach übertrieben stark. Digga. Der wird ja alles komplett zerlegen hier. Muss man, muss man einfach sagen, Alter. It's been too long, your highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war after all. To say such a thing at a time like this. You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate his highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring his highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Roderick. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiad. There she reorganized her troops, and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively. 
and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. <sighs> You are my king, our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Erifar, the hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right and that this will save the kingdom. Es ist trotzdem schwachsinnig, Mann. Digga, ey, wir sind so in der Nähe vom von der Hauptstadt. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the ah. stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Then you must be aware that the kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Keine Ahnung, was ist denn im Osten und Westen? <lacht> Keine Ahnung, ich weiß es nicht. Yes, I agree. The alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murder in uh. Alliance territory. The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. 
I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Okay, wie es mir scheint, äh, werden wir, also wir besuchen sehr viele Orte, die wir schon kennen. Das ist ein bisschen doof. Aber gut, gehört halt dazu, ne? Part 2. Azure Moon. Lonely Moon. The Rose-Colored River. Kingdom Army meets with Rodrigue in Elel, the Valley of Torment. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. Es ist trotzdem zu wenig, Alter. Man sollte trotzdem zuerst das Königreich erobern und dann gemeinsam, gemeinsame Power gegen das Kaiserreich. Das wäre eigentlich der. Oh, here you go. Ah. Das wäre eigentlich der schlauste Move. Aber okay. Dimitri sagt nein, also nein. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold, and the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold His Highness for his foolishness. Right you are. As adults, it is our responsibility to scold him and help him find his way again. I come off as so self-important, but really, I'm just a failure of a man. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you.
<laughs> I suppose that was a dramatic way of putting it. My apologies. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you? No need to worry. Don't you underestimate the power of my soldiers. I'm glad you were the one. Der Bart von ihm sieht irgendwie merkwürdig aus, finde ich. Was nur meine Meinung. I mean that. Felix möchte mit uns reden. Okay. You're certainly not going easy on me. You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Indeed. Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. You may take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. Yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. Indeed. I was raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? <laughs> Spoken like a knight, that's not what I would have expected. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. Ah, uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. B haben wir nur mit ihm, okay. Na dann. Erzlord. A new power. I won't. Okay. Jetzt ist er ein Erzlord. Auch nicht schlecht. Gut, Leute, wir sind leider schon wieder über die Time. Geht immer so schnell bei diesem Spiel, ey, wirklich. Man fühlt sich irgendwie, als hätte man nichts geschafft. Na, ich meine, klar, wir haben einen Kampf geschafft, so, aber einen nur. Na, ach. Ärgert mich ein bisschen. Naja gut, das war's erstmal. Wir sehen uns dann im nächsten Part von Fire Emblem 3 aus wieder. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wenn dem so ist, gebt dem Video doch einen Daumen nach oben. Und falls ihr noch nicht abonniert habt, würde ich mich sehr über eins freuen. Und falls ihr das tut, aktiviert einmal die Glocke. Es lohnt sich. Zwei Videos pro Tag kommen nicht raus. Und dadurch verpasst ihr nichts, weil ihr immer eine schicke Benachrichtigung bekommt. Ja. Ansonsten passt das. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Haut rein!